welcome back to the channel so today we are going to discuss this american express pie spark interview question and answer so this is day 11 of our 30 day pie spark scenario based interview question and answer so this problem i have taken from ankit bansal's youtube channel so for the sql version of this problem you can check out his channel right so here we have been given two table the first table the name of this table is friends and uh, the name of the second table is likes and in the output table we need only this one table where we have the user id and the page id so we'll understand what exactly the user id and friend id means in the output table but before that let's understand what is the problem so the problem statement is determine the user id and corresponding page id of the pages liked by their friend but not by the user itself okay so now we saw that in the friend table we have the user id and the friend id so we need to determine the pages which are liked by the friend but not the by the user itself so if let's say we have the uh, one and two are the two are the friend of each other right so let's say if one has liked the page a and uh, uh, like the and 2 is also the friend of a right and 2 has not liked so we need to write 2 a so like uh, we have the 1 and 2 friends where 2 has liked the 1 has liked the page but the same page is not liked by 2 so this is the problem basically so we'll understand this uh, very clearly with the help of all this example okay so let's start okay so now if we see here in the input table basically so let's the first what we will do we will check uh, like the user id and the friend id basically who is friend of whom right so if you see here one we have friend two three four so for one we have two three four right similarly for two we have one that is already there right so for three we have one that is already there for three we have four this is not there so for three we have four for four we have one so for four we have one this is already there for th four we have three for four we have three okay so these are the unique basically the friendship uh, relation basically right so now uh, this is the like the pay likes table so what exactly this means is so one has liked abc so let me write that also so if we talk about here so one has liked abc all the three pages two has liked a so two has liked a and there is no other pages so for three we have bc so three has liked b comma c and four has liked b so we can write over here let me erase this okay sometimes this doesn't work only so we can write over here four has liked b right now so let's see how this output is getting generated from this input okay so let me change the color okay okay so now let's take the black color okay so now if we see uh, that one has like one has liked a b c right so one has liked a b c okay c now the one's friends are two three four now let's check uh, who uh, like what all all the pages which are liked by two okay so if you see here uh, two has liked only a right that mean two has not liked b and c am i right yes because uh, okay let me write here the answer table so user id and page id page id okay so basically one has liked a b c and two has liked only a that mean two has not like what b and c so that should be there in the output i hope you understand right because one and two are the friend of each other so if one has liked uh, a b c then uh, what we need actually we need all those pages which are liked by their friend but not the user itself so here the two is user which uh, who has not uh, basically liked uh, b and c these two uh, pages 
which are liked by their friend that is a has like that friend uh, that pages okay now let's see c uh, for 3 so if you see 3 3 has liked b and c but uh, since 1 and 3 are friend of each other so 1 has not so like 3 has not liked a so that should be there in the output so this we have over here now 4 so 1 and 4 are friend of each other 1 has liked a b c and 4 4 has liked b only so that mean we should have two record that is 4 a and 4 c right because 4 has only liked b so 4 a and 4 c okay now let's check this so 3 and 4 are friend of each other and uh, 3 has like bc and 4 has like b so that mean uh, these two are the common that uh, 3 has like BC and 4 has like B, uh, then uh, C is remaining, right? Because 3 has liked one more page, that is C. So let's check C. So basically, we have already have a record that 4 has not like C. So that means we have all the unique record over here where we have the friend and the pages which uh, like uh, their friend has liked but the user it's uh, himself has not liked so this is basically the output i hope you understand this so now in order to approach this problem how we can approach so let me write that thing okay so let me write over here so how we can approach this problem okay so if you see here here we have the user id and uh, friend id and if you see we have all the combination it's not like we have all the possible combination so basically a b c two three four so basically we have all the way so a uh, one is friend of two then two is also is a friend of one and that record is also there so what simply we can do is we can join this user id with this user id to get what all are the pages which are liked by each and every user right once we have that then what we can use we can make use of this friends table uh, sorry friends column and filter out the record which are liked by uh, the user right which are liked by the user but not the friend right so that we can do so the approach would be clear when we write the code basically so let's move here and see so here we have the spark basically right spark environment and uh, this is the create statement so i will provide the create statement in the description section you can uh, try it by yourself also so this is the table let me run this okay so here we have basically the user friend and uh, the user and pages okay so these are the imports so we just need the call and concat so i will let you know how exactly we are leveraging concat let me run this okay so now as i mentioned what we will do we will join the friend and the like table so this will give all the possible combination or the pages which are liked by uh, each and every user so let's run this okay so now if you see here okay so this is really important over here uh, let me explain uh, let me erase this thing okay so from here to here if you see what exactly this means is so user one has liked a b c and we have their friend two got it similarly uh, like since all the records are for a only so we have a b c and their friend three uh, similarly we have uh, one where we have a b c and their friend four right so we have all the combination same way we have over here so what we can do in the next step is let's see okay so in order to approach this problem we, what we are doing we are basically concatenating the friend and the pages table so before this like this will make sense uh, if i explain you this thing okay okay so now uh, like uh, try to listen carefully what i am saying so basically what this record means is so here we are saying a has liked oh sorry one has liked a so one has liked a and their friend is two got it 
Similarly, what second uh, line says is, one has liked B and their friend is uh, two, right? Similarly, the third line says, one has liked C and their friend is two, right? So now, what we can say, uh, since we have the record for this column like the user this user has liked which pages so the next what we can say is we can assume this as the user and this as the friend so as of now what we are saying this is the friend of this right so and we have that answer right so in order to tackle this thing ki, uh, we can uh, second thing what we can do we can make this as the friend of this right and check which all the pages which are liked by this user but not uh, this user right so this is what we need to do so now we have one has one uh, one has liked a and their friend is two similarly for uh, b and c so what we can do, we can just concat this. So basically we can write 2a, 2b, 2c, right? 2a, 2b, 2c, we can write and so on and so forth for each and every record. And then what we can, we can say, like we got this combination from this table, right? We got this combination from uh, the like table. So what we can do, we can simply write which all the record of combination of uh, like the friend and pages which are not there, uh, not here, right? Because we have all the combination of friend and the pages which are liked over here. So we can use simply use the not like and check which all the pages which are liked by the user but not the friend right so let me show you the code basically so here we are um, generating that user and page uh, thing like we are simply naming because now this friend is acting as a user right and uh, we are generating this concat column so let me show you okay so now we have this concat column right now uh, from the, since we want to filter out the record which are here which are liked by the user so we can simply we can simply uh, create the this column like the friend page column over here right in the liked like data frame so this likes we are using and now we we need since we want to filter out so we will have to create the list of this so what we are doing we are taking this uh, data frame and uh, we are using the collect and uh, creating this list basically to filter out the record so now we have the this thing uh, list of liked pages uh, and the user so now we can simply use the friend page concat df that is this df right and uh, filter out this pages so what we can do what we are saying we are saying that a column of this um, this data frame uh, user pages is in uh, friend like so basically this friend like uh, list and we are using uh, this thing like this is here is is in right and here we are providing the negation so that means is not in right this is how it works so let me run this okay so these all are the pages which are uh, like liked by the user but not the friend and uh, from here we just need the user and the friend right so, uh, so no not user and friend we need the friend and the page id because here the friend is act actually working as a user and this is act acting as a friend so we can simply run this and we we got the output right so we can basically just order the data so here we are ordering the data okay so now we have 2 bc and 3a and 4 ac so let's verify so we have 2 bc and 3a uh, and 4 ac so i hope you understand the problem and its solution so if you like this please do like subscribe share the channel let's meet in the next problem